Hello, this is Brett from Survival Comms, and today we're going to make a repair on a magnetic antenna mount. Magnetic antenna bases are very popular in two-way radio for good reason. They give you a lot of flexibility. It's very easy to move radios from vehicle to vehicle. Uh, some individuals don't like putting holes in their vehicle when they mount an antenna, so they choose to go with a magnet base. Magnetic base antennas are very popular in radio caches uh, because it's very simple to issue a radio with a magnetic base antenna to an individual. They can go ahead and put the thing in their vehicle and they can go down the road and they're good. But oftentimes when they come back, the antenna cable may be damaged from opening and closing a door or whatever have you, and you end up with something such as this right here where you can see this uh, antenna cable squashed flat. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to repair this by eliminating this section of cable right here at the base and being able to save the majority of the feed line. To begin with we're going to go ahead and spin our antenna off and this is a typical NMO base and then where our damaged section of coax is here we're going to go ahead and cut just below it and that way we get the feed line out of the way so when we work on it it'll be a lot easier to work with. Now when you flip these over, I've already taken the vinyl off. Typically there's a, a vinyl or a foil layer that's on the base of these here and that's important to keep weather out. Now we're going to go ahead and disassemble our mag mount and not all of these are the same. This one here uses a pen spanner on the NMO mount. So that's pretty easy to spin that off there and to disassemble everything like this. And pull your cable. So then we've got our plastic base and then our magnet and then the center of our mount right here. All right, to get this out, put your work in a vise and then you're going to apply a lot of heat to our cable and then we're going to try to lift it out and it's not going to be pretty getting this thing out there we go and now we've got our old cable out and you can see all that nasty gag there plastic out rather than heating that up inside that mount. Now we can take our desoldering pump and remove the excess solder from the connection. Now you can see we've cleaned up the main body of our connector. The way this works is the shield is soldered to the main body of the connector and there's a layer of insulation inside of it that holds the center pin and that's what contacts the radiator of the antenna. Now we're going to prep our cable. So we want to go maybe a centimeter and a half back or three quarters of an inch with a razor blade and remove our jacket. and that exposes our shield and then we want to go about half that distance back we want to take a scissor and we want to trim our shield give it a little haircut now that we've given ourselves a little haircut we'll go ahead and feed our cable through our plastic and run that down and then we're going to run it through our magnet from the bottom first and slide all that down out of the way. Now we'll take our razor blade and a couple of millimeters ahead of where our shield is we'll remove our center conductor insulation. And you can see how we're prepped here. Okay, get your flux out, put some flux on the tip, and then take and rub flux on your shield. You 
you want to do your center conductor first so just touch your center conductor and that's going to hold your cable in place while you do the jacket You can see how it wicked in really good, and that's exactly what you want. You don't want a lot of heat on this connection because it will destroy that insulation. And that's good right there. Take your precision cutter and cut off your center conductor even with the post. Now inspect your work and clean off the flux with a prep pad and check your work for a second time. Line up your mount body and your magnet and you're going to want to take your connection and place it through the magnet just like that there. And now slide that through, line up your hole. Now take your connector nut, thread on your connector nut, tighten it up, and then take your pen spanner and cinch it down tight. Take an antenna, which you know is good, stick it on something metallic to be a ground plane, check your work with a known good antenna. Clean your magnet and the mount body with a prep pad. Make sure there's nothing in there before you seal it up. You want to make sure that you seal this area up here. Now what I usually use is bumper stickers. I'm just going to use this Magpul sticker here. And just a vinyl sticker. And once all the alcohol evaporates, we go ahead and place our decal. Seal up our mount. Get our air bubbles out. This also protects the vehicle, the body of the vehicle too, from being scratched up. Now just turn it over and take your razor blade and cut around the perimeter. Now your mount is ready to be returned to service. Something old is new again. I hope this helps. This is Brett from Survival Comms. Till next time.